This is the absolute worst my hair has ever looked. Working on my energy, cleaning up, I'm taking care of myself and me. Drinking coffee, take a sip, they say I'm sparkling. Manifest, I write it down, you know it's happening. What up, beauty gang? As y'all can tell by the title, it's been a long time coming, but your girl is finally bringing you my very first Dookie Bread routine of 2022. Now, just off rip, I gotta be fully honest and transparent, y'all. Y'all know I don't hold no punches. This is the absolute worst my hair has ever looked. And it's crazy because I've done two more Dookie Bread routines before, you know? I've, I've waited two months, but this time around, Oh gosh, I'm gonna just let I'm gonna just let my hair speak for itself. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge. Okay, it's been a rough couple months. But this is what my hair looks like. Now I will say, when I first even did the Dookie braids about two months ago, I did this like late December. I just was ready for a break. I was over my hair, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Same story. I'm not even gonna lie. I tell from first day when I did the braids in the shower that they weren't as top tier as usual. They weren't as flat. They were legit dookie braids. I didn't make my parts as nice and crisp. My sections were uneven, you know? Like it wasn't perfect. It wasn't chef's kiss. And I can definitely tell that my hair is repaying me for how I treated it. So I'll go ahead and give you guys some close ups. Again, don't judge. Okay, I'm hoping my curls still look popping underneath all of this mess too, cause I haven't seen my curls in months. But anyway, this is what my hair is looking like up close. The only, only benefit or pro that I can think of as of right now is the growth, y'all. Like I will say, although I did kind of make the braids real ugly when I did it, you can at least see scalp, okay? I gotta pull it apart for you to see it. Not only that, it can lift, y'all. My. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The parts of the Dookie Braids like can lift. That's how I have so much new growth in these braids. I don't even know how it looks from the back, but I'm gonna show y'all. Oh my gosh. It's definitely giving Dookie energy for sure, for sure. I feel like these are the Dookiest Dookie Braids I've ever done on myself and shown on this channel. And as you guys can see too from the front, we got some like hair sticking out some of the braids. God, I feel like, I don't know if this is breakage or like, I, it's just, it's just bad. It's real bad. I'm not even gonna try to make an excuse for it. I will say though, I was kind of washing my edges over the last two months or so, so that might be why some of the hair is hanging out, but I really won't know how much damage has been done until we get this process started. So I'm gonna give, <laughs> I look so crazy. I'm gonna give y'all one more 360, because we are never going to see my hair like this again. Like I can even feel some of the hairs that are sticking out of the braids have little like fairy knots on them. Never again. I was I was in a bad place in December, okay? I was overwhelmed and you could tell by how I did my hair. Anyway, 360 and then we're gonna transform, okay? Cause I don't look like this on the, well, or do I? No, no, I ain't gonna do that. I don't look like this on the regular. Mm, mm, mm. The shame, the shame, the embarrassment. Oh my gosh. I am excited to see that growth though. What that growth do? All right, y'all. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. First things first, thoroughly drenching my hair in warm to hot water, y'all, before applying any products. After my hair is drenched, I go in with my all-time favorite savior when it comes to these type of situations, my Ozzy Moist 3-Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. I apply it all over my hair, as you can see here, my braids, my kitchen area. Basically, the goal is for no strand to be left behind. Like, every single strand needs to be coated in this Ozzy Moist Deep Conditioner, and it makes the detangling process so much easier. So starting with the first braid. Because the Ozzy Moist had a little bit of time to marinate in my hair, Hair, the takedown process is super easy and I want to also make sure that I mention whenever I am doing dookie braids my sections are always detangled before I start braiding so that the takedown process isn't so strenuous now as you can see here just like that the first braid is already taken down and I can easily finger detangle because of the first step that I showed you guys as well as what I just mentioned to you guys about making sure my hair is detangled prior after the braid is taken down though I like to add a little bit more water to the detangling process because 
because that mixed with the Ozzy Moist Conditioner gives me really good slip in order to get all this shedding out my hair. So all I have to do is just finger to tangle, finger to tangle, finger to tangle, and then you see the shedding comes out. This is two months worth of shedding from this section via finger detangling. And as you can see, my curls are starting to form and pop and clump. So after that, I go in with my tangle teaser and start ends to roots to make sure the section is thoroughly detangled. Once I'm able to tangle tease a section like this without any snags, I go ahead and two strand twist the section away. I repeat the same exact steps for the rest of the sections of my hair. And this is what the hair shedding is looking like in the tangle teaser halfway through. It's, it's looking a little rough, I ain't gonna lie to you, but two months worth, keep that in mind. Also, the hair that you can see on the shower wall is from the finger detangling portion of each section. So again, hair halfway done. I wanna show you guys the process one more time. So after the braid is taken down, I go ahead and finger detangle to get that dead hair and shedding out of the section. Once that's done, I go in with my tangle teaser starting from end to roots. And also note, the bigger the section gets, I usually split it because the sections are entirely too big just to try to detangle all at once. So go ahead and twist that away. The last thing I also wanted to mention that I was pleasantly surprised about during this Dookie Brave routine takedown was the fact that I didn't get any large chunks of hair and breakage coming out in the front section like my edges area. The only thing that's changed is that I don't use the got to be free spray anymore. I actually use the ORS wig spray and that has clearly done wonders for my edges so I was very pleasantly surprised by this. Now this is what the Tangle Teaser shedding looks like after I finished thoroughly detangling all my hair you got another little clump going on but it's okay it's cool and this is how my hair is looking after it has been thoroughly detangled you can already tell it's kind of trying to come back to life a little bit so I was happy about that now it's time for me to go ahead and rinse out all of that conditioner now that my hair is fully detangled trying to make sure all of it is out before I go in with my shampoo which is my all-time favorite by the way gold series moisture boost shampoo if you have type 4 hair. If you just have natural hair in general and you've never used this shampoo before, I promise you, you will not regret it. As you can see, I'm trying to focus on my edges for sure. Then I like to get into the roots and my scalp, especially because my hair has not, or my head in general, hasn't had this type of TLC in two months. So I make sure I really take my time with this step. Also, for those who are new to my channel and are wondering like, why is she shampooing her hair in twists? Honey, if you have not tried, this wash day method. Try it and thank me later. This makes your wash day routine so easy. Also, you can see by the way, I did double wash my hair. It was dirty, y'all. It had to be done. But as I was saying, washing your hair in two strand twists, specifically focusing on your scalp and roots the most, and then letting the rest of the shampoo kind of just run down your hair shaft. Honey, when I tell you it will change your life, I kid you not. You avoid the risk of your hair matting or tangling after shampooing just by doing this simple step. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Now after I rinse out this second wash to my hair, it's time to go in with this Kiss Colors Argan and Macadamia hair mask. This is one of my favorite hair masks of all time. I love the consistency and thickness of it. I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over each section of my hair and retwist it back as you can see here because again my hair needs and deserves a little bit more TLC. So this is what my hair is looking like after I've applied the hair mask to each section of my hair. To finish off this step I like to go ahead and add the hair mask all along the perimeter of my hair so my edges my kitchen area just like I told y'all I'm super heavy-handed with products but it's a reason every strand deserves to be coated so that's what you see here once I feel that's been done I go ahead and add some actually olive oil that's a little bit new to the mix but I just kind of wanted to lock in that moisture for a little bit so I'm applying that all over my hair making sure that it coats every twist and then once that's done I go ahead and ponytail my hair away not only that I also go ahead and throw a plastic bag on my hair to seal in that moisture okay it's all about locking in that moisture because my hair was looking like the Sahara when this video started I went off camera watched a little bit of Netflix eight and two hours later this is what my hair is looking like and don't it look healthy don't it look refreshed and renewed <laughs> now next step is to go ahead and rinse out all that product that I let sit for the last two hours and you know 
know what you guys I was actually pleasantly surprised at how nice my hair looked once all this product was rinsed out talk about a hair transformation this is what my hair is looking like with absolutely no product in it okay them twists looking mighty juicy now for the moment I'm sure most of you guys are interested in seeing a little length check because as y'all know I went through a lot of stuff with my hair last year a lot of damage so I ended up having to cut off a lot of hair during 2021 but now look at what my length is looking like she is growing okay i was so happy so proud very excited to be back on the right track for my healthy hair growth journey so that's that now for the final step i'm going in with my texture id styling cream this is the cream that i always use to braid or cornrow my hair i'm kind of flying through this because i do have a video specifically on how i cornrow my hair and like what my wig prep routine looks like so if any of you guys are interested in a more detailed video of this I will link some in the description box below but I just want to show you guys at least one little corn roll okay then this is how my hair is looking after I finish corn rolling all my hair we can see scalp again okay we got parts okay it's looking pretty good okay alrighty love so after a full blown day gone your girl's hair is finally done and I must say, it's a huge relief compared to how this video started. Um, let me go ahead and actually take it out my little bun because the last final touches, as my OGs know, is oiling that scalp, okay? So I like to go in with Jamaican black castor oil along my edges and like on the top of my braids. And then this wild growth hair oil in between my parts and y'all, this combination, as well as letting my hair just rest even if it is two months, my hair literally grows like weeds. Might be an unpopular opinion, but just based off my experience the last three, four years of doing wig season, dirty hair still grows. Actually, mine grows like insanely well. But you know, different strokes for different folks. I'm just here to kind of like uh, defy is that the right word? That myth that you should always wash your hair and blah, blah, blah. Literally, y'all just saw, I haven't washed my hair in two months and it has grown so much. This time around, I made sure that I had like smaller braids, especially at the top, because with the dookie braids I started with, I had that really thick, ugly ass braid down the middle. And like sometimes when I would want my wigs to lay super flat, like a straight hairstyle, it would be kind of bulky. So I didn't get to do it. So I am looking forward, I can actually, drench out some of this water too. But I'm looking forward to having some flat installs. I think I did pretty well on this, especially these top four. They lay super flat. The other ones on the side didn't mind entirely too much. But this is the final step. As you guys can see, ran it along my edges and hairline. Now I'm just running it down the braids and shaft of my hair. I can even tell it's grown just based off of the dookie braid length right now. Okay, I'm trying to get some hang time up in here. Last step with the wild growth. To be honest, first time around, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, and I'm sure for those who aren't OGs and this might be your first video, I'm very heavy handed with products and my type for natural hair thanks me for it. So I don't plan on changing anytime soon. But anyway, you know, wig season, it'd be a little rough on the hairline sometimes. So you gotta give it a little extra TLC and I don't plan on putting on any wig or install tonight. So that'll just have a full night and night sleep to just set in to my hair. And put it between all the parts. Ooh, it's dripping a little bit. Actually feels really good to my scalp. My hair feels so much better. It was bad as y'all saw. Cannot forget that kitchen. Hashtag never forget the kitchen. Ooh, I might have put a little too much back there. It's okay though. I want the growth. I want that kitchen to grow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this scarf just so I can go ahead and, you know, well, not mold, but set in, you know? I'll be looking like this for the rest of the night and then throw on my bonnet when it's time to go to sleep. Um, last thing I have to show you guys is all the shedding, potential breakage, and whatnot that came from this Dookie Braid routine. Y'all know I like to keep it real and transparent, so let's get into it. As a lot of you guys saw in the video, uh, this became my hair wall. Like, honestly, imagine if I just let all this hair run to the ground and down this little faucet of ours. 
our washroom would it, it wouldn't even operate anymore our shower wouldn't even operate anymore but this is all the shedding that i got from finger detangling that finger detangle process and then this over here i know this looks really nasty it creeps me out too but it's my hair so whatever this is all the hair it's clumped up so it's a little bit more than what the camera is giving or whatever but this came out of the tangle teaser <laughs> y'all probably judging the hell out of me because this all looks really ratchet don't judge but yeah this hair came out the tangle teaser this was like three rounds of tangle teasing so y'all saw the first round was on like my left side of my hair second round was right side and then i tangle teased a little bit more when i started making my cornrows because I wanted to be a smooth detangling process like this one was as you might have heard in the voiceover I was saying like it was super easy to detangle taking out those original dookie braids because my hair started detangled so I always try to make sure I do that for myself and honestly the hair loss doesn't scare me one I have very thick hair but two this is two months of hair shedding so honestly I should have kind of put it all together for y'all Ooh, this is so nasty Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to thoroughly deep clean the shower, but two months of hair shedding, y'all. Lord have mercy. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very first Dookie Bray routine of 2022. All the products that I use, I will link in the description box below if any of you guys are interested in trying them out in here. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of what day I have left with my man. So until next time, guys, bye. The heck you clapping for? You seem like you got through it real well. Yeah, thank you. Thought you were talking about my hair, me doing my hair finally. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It has been a while coming. Mm hmm. All this new growth should be a test. Honestly, that. look, if you pull like at my roots. No, I definitely see like there's definitely. There's growth, growth honey. There's definitely a lot of growth. I ain't got all this looseness up there. I know, that's a problem though. I'm kind of scared. Out, but I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be draping now once I get it together. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah